Welcome back here in the post game. Jeff Blankman joined right now by Kathy Lage, the head coach for the IK Manning Wolves. And coach, uh, maybe a little bit of a disappointing one here tonight as you girls, uh, the girls fall three to one uh, to trainer. How did you feel the match went? Well, I, you're right about it. It's a little disappointing, those first three sets. Uh, we were right there in every one of them. Uh, we had a lot of runs, and I guess trainer did too. It wasn't, you know, pretty a lot of the times, but we were right in there, and then that fourth game, uh, we just didn't have any momentum whatsoever, and that's what was disappointing. It's just the end. Coach, uh, you talked about uh, having chances of late games one and two. Uh, one time it was 20 to 19 late in game one, and then I think in game two there was three or four instances where you're down by one, and it just never seemed like you could get that one point you needed to tie it up and then maybe grab a lead. That's right. It's just <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it just we just could not get up over that hump. And like you said, you know we were down quite a few points and then came back really well in the first game and ended up winning 2025 we had our chances uh, this could, didn't have the right maybe rotation in there to put the ball away and uh, made some crucial mental mistakes perhaps coach uh, a lot of young players how do you see them developing so far for you this year uh, well uh, Riley Milbauer has done an excellent job for us she's uh, probably more of a defensive specialist but also plays front row so she's been developing really well um, we've kind of gone back and forth between a 5-1 and a 6-2, and tonight we decided to go with a 6-2 with another freshman setter, and, you know, they're, they're coming along, and then we threw in Aaron Langle in there, another freshman, and Kenzie Brandt, so, um, I have to remind myself that, yeah, they're freshmen, and yeah, they're learning, and they still make some of those mistakes, and, yeah, but it's, it's still frustrating. <laughs> Uh, coach, uh, is it just kind of a young team kind of, I know you got veterans on this team, but learning to take that lead and grab that one point late in these games, has that kind of been the problem against the really good teams you've met this year? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, sometimes they just, they they don't make fast enough decisions and that comes with a lot of playing experience. And so I think that might be part of the problem there. You know, and we do have experienced players and Sarah Burnett and, and Caitlin Scheckinger and, and Jazz back there and they try to make things happen, but uh, it's got to be kind of a total total effort there. And I think, you know, that decision making uh, is a problem. Kathy, how did you feel like uh, your team serve received and passed out of the back row tonight? Well, at times I thought that we served received okay. Um, and we, I thought we dug the ball fairly well. And then there would be in spurts that, you know, they scored seven points, uh, I think it was the beginning of the third game, and they scored seven points right away. And I was like, you know, we had four, maybe it was four to zero, and then the next thing I know it was seven to four. Um, <laughs> so that's really frustrating. So uh, we can only pa always pass the ball better. Um, we were not in system as much as we needed to be tonight. How did you feel like you hit tonight? I thought at times, I thought Caitlin Checkinger in that third game tonight, really out of the middle was fine. I thought Sarah Burnett had yep. a nice run in game two off the left side. Yeah, I think Sarah probably had one of her best uh, matches tonight as far as up at the net. And you're right, Caitlin did too. And you know, we're, we're still trying to get Emily so that she's always ready. And uh, she, you know, kind of went in spurts there too, and as well as our other hitters. You know, one thing that would help us, you know, that didn't tonight was we usually are not too bad at servers, but tonight I think we missed some key serves, and I don't know if we were tired, but, um, you know, I had, I think we probably had more aces tonight than we ever have, but we also probably had a lower serving percentage. But. Coach, uh, we're kind of winding down now in the season. You and I were talking beforehand. We're down to about the final two weeks. Where do you feel like this team still needs to get to to be able to advance in the playoffs? Well, we need to, uh, when we get that little bit of a lead, we need to hang on to that momentum and just keep making smart decisions and, um, you know, work at improve on our passing. And we, we really have tried to be a lot more aggressive servers, and I think being an aggressive server is going to help us down the road. Well, Kathy, I appreciate you joining us. I know you got a long bus ride back home, so we appreciate you coming up here in the postgame, and we look forward to seeing you guys later on down the line in the playoffs. All right, thanks for covering us tonight. Kathy Lage again, the IKM.